Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, once again. And I'm back again with another interesting episode. And it's all about bridging the relationship between Africa and China. But today, I got a surprise for you. If today is your first time of watching this YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe before I continue this video. Like I said, I got a surprise for you. I got two amazing friends in the house, and they're going to share with me their life experience in Africa. Guess who? They are. Are they African women? Hell no. Can you please come to me, please? <laughs> All right. Hello. So, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice nice to meet you. you. But what's your name? Bobo. Bobo. And what's your name? Wajamoli. Wajamoli. Okay. Yes. Are you living in Beijing? I'm from Beijing. I'm okay. So, um, you contacted me on Instagram, right? Yeah. And you yeah. told me that you really like what I do, so you want to help me out. Why do you want to help me out, if I may ask? Um. So I saw his uh, um, videos about Africa and China. He's living in China and he has lots of topics about Africa and China relationships, which is something also I am interested in myself. And then because I was living in Africa, and then I have my own experience of how the relationship works, and I want to contribute my part to your topic. Thank you so much. And what about you, Bobo? What about you? Okay, all about Molly. All about because Molly. she told me there is a really interesting guy. Okay. Thank so you, you? Yeah. okay. <laughs> and I also have some experience in Africa. Africa. That's why she invited me. Yeah. Okay, so my first question is like, have you been to Africa before? You're asking I'm, how? A, I'm asking Bobo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I have. Like when? Couple what? of times. Couple like, of times. The most memorable, unforgettable trip for me, journey for me, is in Mozambique to attend my friend's wedding. To attend your friend's wedding yeah. in Mozambique. Yeah. And how long have you stayed in Africa? Like in which country in Africa though? Um, I was staying in um, South Africa. The city is Johannesburg. What took you to Africa? Mm -hmm. Africa, like uh, when I was young, I, I always had this image of Africa. You know, Africa is a place that I always want, want to be and I always want to visit. Uh, of course, and then in my subconscious, I, I was always looking for opportunities mm. which lead me to Africa. Okay. Um, and then two years ago, we found opportunity and we finally, finally moved to South Africa. Finally, yes. you and who? Um, me and my husband. You and your husband. Oh, yeah. so you're married? Yes. Yeah, Maya. <laughs> but you you went for a wedding, you right? Have opportunity. Yeah. I, I don't I don't have any opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> she's, opportunity. she's married. Yeah. To be honest, Taylor is the most beautiful African girl I ever met, met in real life. In real yeah. life. All right. Good. African girls are very very beautiful. African by the way, girls. nice body. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, not not everyone is curvy. I know they that. Are also like slim girls yes. with a very very good skin. skin. Like like, yes. like Taylor. Like yes, Taylor. Taylor. Yes. Okay. Skin. Yeah. Before you went to Africa, is there any mis kind of misconception that you had, but you went to Africa, you realized that it was not like that? Something that you had before going in there, that when you went there, you realized that, oh my God, this is not how it is. Can you tell me, like, anything? How, like, can you tell me something? For, um, um, I think, like, the, the, the general misconception about Africa is that people think Africa is a place that uh, needs aid. Yeah? Everybody need to donate their money or closing to Africa because they don't have such things. Okay. Well, at least they don't have enough. Um, so that's maybe, yes, that's more of the of, side uh, that uh, the you, impression before for, we would do. Uh, yeah, of course, if, I, I know like uh, it's a misconception, it's in, okay. but still I need to go there and find out myself. So, but I have this in my mind, you know, I'm ready to explore, explore. to see what are Really, really there. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So you, when you went there, you realized that they really don't need aid or something? No, I mean, it depends. Like, what I realized is that in Africa, the countries, they are very different from each other. Okay. You have countries like South Africa, which is a very well-developed, uh, like, uh, a rich country. And social orders, infrastructures, everything is uh, more or less... Um, complete but oh, you also have the you know countries with, which are less developed and they are very different from 
you know, the developed countries. So region from region and also in Africa, it's different cultures, people believe in different things. So everything yeah. is different. You can't generalize okay. uh, Africa as the, the whole, you know, just one place. It's many little places coming together as a, as a continent. Okay. Yeah. So for me, it's not misconception. It's like what I just mentioned. It's a stereotype and images. Stereotypes, yeah. So like before you go there, you 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 must heard have heard a lot uh, negative opinion of Africa. Okay. No matter it's about uh, the bad economical situation, status, or some very rude people. I mean some. So when I go there, like I was uh, also like people think. Maybe African people do not have a really wide horizon okay. yeah, because, uh, yeah, because the economic. Yeah. But to be honest, like when I attend a wedding, the entire process when we prepare the wedding with friends together, I feel like people were so embraced, uh, so embraced, you know, different yeah. cultures. Like we, we, I feel like me, uh, my Taiwanese go mm. girlfriend and. Mm. And myself, we think of everyone will look at us. You know, everyone will think, "Oh my God, they are like look two two Chinese people come to attend yeah, our wedding. This is so special." To be honest, like nobody, they just feel like you are friends from another country. Another country. But like everyone, just you know, be, this is you know, you know what I mean. Like yeah, I we don't, they, we don't feel like the lack of horizon. In the other hand, they're like actually they are really embracing the in, international cultures, so and everyone's so you know, open, they're, so, they're, they're easy to open their heart and they're so welcoming. So that's that's why the, we, we have amazing, so great time I think, there. I think yeah. the way you, you, you're talking, like you're, you're talking passionately, as if like your love for Africa is so like huge or something. Can I say you love Africa so much? Yeah, of course. As Tintin said, like Africa is so big and yeah. every country is quite different. Yeah. But like generally speaking, then, Africa has amazing culture and as you know all the human beings come from this land. Mm -hmm. So we have we feel like we we, we have attached we attached to this land. You know, I said you know? I said this from one of my videos that all human race yeah. came from Africa. Yeah. And I got people like arguing with me that this is not true. And I'm happy that Bobo is saying exactly the same thing. You get it? So, like, what about you? Like, can you tell me something about you? Like, the, the kind of stereotypes you had before going to Africa? Um, so, before moving to Africa, my biggest concern was that um, if um, if people are friendly towards foreigners, or especially like a Chinese or Asian. Um, so I asked around and I was a bit concerned, like, uh, if, because, you know, if people don't like you and you, you live in that place, you can't enjoy your enjoy, life, exactly. right? So, um, but um, the reality proved that is, um, you know, I, so I, I there's no need to have that concern at all because people are so friendly. Uh, they don't see you as foreigners. They okay. don't see you as okay. You are different. Uh, you know, you because you are Asian or you are Chinese. You are different from us. So we don't like. They don't have that kind of uh, idea. I think people are very uh, open-hearted. Yeah. Open they treat you just as uh, who you are. You know, as a friend, as a human being. Um, they don't see the difference. Well, maybe they see the difference, but they embrace the differences, the differences. and they are interested in you. Um, so that's one thing I was uh, very surprised, positively surprised about, uh, you know, the places in Africa that I've visited. People are so friendly, friendly. so warm-hearted. Yeah. So I guess like you went to Africa, you listened to African music, you, you, <laughs> you, you joined African parties, or maybe you, you ate African food, like, can you tell me, like, you stayed in, you stayed in Africa for so long, you stayed in South Africa for so long, so can you tell me, like, do you love African music or something? Did you hear any African music? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Love? We, we <laughs> love African music. Which kind of so, African music, uh, guy? Can you tell me? Especially Nigerian music. Nigerian music? Yeah. My fellow Nigerian brothers. We salute you. Nigeria, <laughs> can you. Can you give me an example like any? Yes, uh, for example, Davido is Davido. currently like uh, oh. very, very popular. Very popular. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So like Davido has a lot of songs. Do you have any song of Davido that you love? Uh, the the most famous one everybody knows. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think this song is really funny. Yeah. And I fall in love with this song because every time I hear this song, uh, it makes me happy. Can, can we just sing this song a bit? 
Money follow you. Banana follow you. Follow you. Cause I'm me love it. Yeah. Are you done talking? Are you done talking? That's really amazing. David, shout out to you. At once I was in Kenya, I saw this written on the wall. Maybe this is not the exact wording of the, you know, of the things, but something is like once you are in Africa, African blood runs through you. I believe in that. 100%. I can say uh, at the moment, uh -huh. right now, I've become an African. Ah. I'm an African Chinese. So, which means like, you're African Chinese. I'm, we are African yeah. Chinese. No, it's okay. I have another suggestion. Okay. It's really, really important okay. for girls. If you have a long hair like us, be careful of your hair because there's so many African girls who will come to you and give you a prize and want to buy your hair. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful if somebody bring a season to you, just run away because they love your hair. Love That's your hair. Okay. Because African girls, they are so like chome, you know? <laughs> They're so, you know, wow. care about their beauty and I think they have amazing taste yeah. of fashion. Thank you so much. And I just want to know, like, if somebody want to take a step and go to any country in Africa, yeah. what advice will you give to the person? Oh, it depends on which country do you go. You have to do your research. You can't just uh, pack your uh, backpack and you know buy a plane ticket and go to an Africa country. You have to know where you're going and know the situation in the country because all the countries are so different. There are countries like South Africa. Um, you know, uh, you have some security problem, but in general, it's a stable nation. But you have also certain countries that there's still civil wars. So just be prepared. I have a, like a suggestion because okay. like because I totally changed my original imagination of mm. Africa. As as Molly said, like what's that word we, we call in Chinese Kuban I think there's a word uh, called prejudice. A stereotype mm. image. Yeah. Stereotype image. Remove that. Re remove the stereotype images from your mind. Okay. And just bring a hard to explore Africa by yourself. Don't impact by any, any negative like yeah. opinion. So yeah, that's what, what I suggest. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy meeting both of you and I think yeah. um, before you go back to South Africa I think we're gonna do another video together. Maybe maybe we we'll go try some African dishes or something. I don't know. Like yeah. I'll try and do that for you before you go back yeah. to South Africa. But Bobo is here with me. Yeah. Bobo is here with me. So definitely ask for Bobo. I'm gonna meet her again. All right. So thank you so much. I have one thing to say. Okay. Uh, since we were talking about prejudice. Okay. Uh, why is prejudice so harmful? Okay. Is because, uh, for example. Um, like I said, the misconception about Africa, people, you know, people are in poverty and it's not a safe place. Um, if you have the prejudice in your mind, uh, when the opportunity comes, maybe it leads you to Africa, you will refuse it because you have this misconceptions and then you lose your opportunity to discover the, the reality here. Okay. Because the reality is different. Africa is a very, very lovely place. Yeah. Once you're there, in love with yeah. the continent. The people are so friendly, um, the food, uh, the meat, the quality, and the, the air quality. Ah. Yeah, people <laughs> love dancing, they're so beautiful, like that's a beautiful, that's lovely that's people. That's right? okay. Just go explore yourself, don't stop by the prejudice. Okay. Everyone's born a dancer. Oh, uh, uh, wow, but what am I that don't know how to dance? I think I'm not African though. Banana, <laughs> banana, banana fall. <laughs> <laughs> she loves banana fall on you. Okay, so it's a boy, Mr. Ghana baby, and thank you for watching this amazing episode. Like I said, the Africa to the World movement is still in session. Contact me on this email and be part of the Africa to the World project. We're gonna change the world on this YouTube channel. My name is still Mr. Maya. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and tell my beautiful ladies something. I am Maya. Peace out.